Hi there, folks. This is Chris with Chris's Trains and More. Well, while I'm shooting a video on how to change some traction tires, I just did one for the New York Central. I figured I'd do one for my Lionel Great Northern Electric. This is number 6-8762, part of the MPC era. And they are completely gone. Totally missing. Dry rotted and fell off. This train's in really nice shape. I'm not even sure if it was even really run. But as always, have our foam. And just got to be careful of the canaware system here on top. We don't have a lot of handrails or anything. There's only the one Phillips screw on the one end. So take this out. Try not to drop it. And then this body should come off. Yeah, it's got a little tab that holds it on in the other end. So then the next thing we need to do is flip it upside down. And there's a Phillips screw that's down in here. See if I can get that to where everybody can see it. I'm gonna take this Phillips screw out, and then this whole truck's gonna come off of here. Find my Phillips. Get the screw out of here. Once you get it loose, it should lift right off of here. Yep, there it goes. Oop. Try not to move it around too much because the motor's also coming out. Alright, set that there. Hopefully she don't fall over. Alright, and then you flip this over. And there's another screw here that you gotta take out. Take this screw out. And then this will come right up off of here. <clears throat> and then we can get to the wheels in order to change. <coughs> Put the new traction tires on. Excuse me. I ordered a set of 12 tires. So I got more than enough of these. Some of my other trains, they're getting kind of worn out. Just start it on one end, hold it with your finger, and stretch it around. That's one. Just stretch it around. There's two. And we'll go ahead and put it all back together. <clears throat> Fill the screw back in here. This would be a good time to lubricate it with the grease or anything if it needed it, but you can see this is pretty wet. It's actually a little bit everywhere. Like we get her in there nice and squared up and just set your truck assembly back on there get your Phillips screw maybe use the bigger one tighten that back up Everything looks good. Not quite sure if that bit in the way it should have. Doesn't feel like it. Yeah. 
good. All right, let me put the body back on. Line your tab up over on this end. Flip it back upside down. Put your other Phillips screw in here. Get my fingers to work today. Get a bigger screwdriver. <laughs> Come on, you booger. It came out real easy. All right. There we go. Voila. That's all there is to it. Changing the traction tires. These trains will be good to run now. And they'll be good pullers too. Alright. If you like the video, please click the like button. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe. And if you got any other questions or comments, please put that in the comments below. As always, I appreciate all my subscribers. And thanks for watching. And have a great 4th of July.